Welcome back to the workshop. Look, I know all of you have been wanting to impress your significant other by making some awesome picture frames, so that's what we're gonna do. Let's get started. I've got a nice piece of rough sawn walnut, so we're gonna mill it up. I start with my jointer sled to square up one edge, then clean up the other side with my table saw, then onto the planer to get the faces. Once we're good, I take what I need for the picture frames and save the rest for a later project. Next, I sketch out the profile I want on one edge of each piece and then it's onto the table saw. I cut a 10 degree angle in one face, about a half an inch from the top, and a 45 degree angle on the back side. Finally, I cut out the rabbit for the picture to sit in. I set the initial depth for the rabbit, and then I just bump the fence back and make repeated cuts until I'm all the way through. Here's what the profile looks like after you're done. Ooh, so fancy. Time for the miter sled. This is a pretty simple jig that ensures you get a 90 degree corner every time. I set up stop blocks so that all the pieces would match their opposite side and length. After they're all cut up, it's time to glue them up, strap them down, and do it all again since we're making two frames today. Once the frames are dry, it's time to add the splines. This is another simple jig that cuts a curve into the corners of the frame, and then you glue in an additional piece of wood to reinforce the miter joints. Once the splines were dry, I trimmed them with the bandsaw and then sanded them down flush with my disc and belt sander. There were a few gaps in the miter joints, but a trick I've learned is to add a little bit of glue and then sand over it. The sawdust will mix with the glue, fill in the gap, and match the wood around it. Problem solved. Then just some final sanding up to 220 grit, and it's time for the finish. I did three coats of boiled linseed oil. Just wipe it on, let it sit 15 minutes, and then wipe it off. And man, it looks awesome. I'm using some quarter inch acrylic for the glass. This stuff is easy to cut out on the table saw. Just make sure you leave the protective film on it until you're ready to mount it into the frame. Then for the backing paper, I used some large card stock. I laid the acrylic on top of it and cut it out with a utility knife. Time to put it all together. We finally get to get rid of that horrible film on the acrylic. And I put on the photo and then the backing paper. I'm using
using some offset clips that I got from the local craft store to hold everything down. They're installed with screws, so I used a drill bit and a hammer to mark the pilot hole locations and then I just drilled them out. I didn't want to crack anything this far into the project. Finally, I added the hangers. These are literally the worst nails on the face of this earth. What are they? Nails for ants? Now we just hang it on the wall and we're done. All right, thanks for watching. I'm really happy with the way this turned out, especially this frame. I just like how the heartwood and the sapwood contrast each other. It just makes it more visually interesting. I know a lot of woodworkers don't like the sapwood and walnut, but I think it's pretty cool. Anyways, I've realized nobody watches this part, but hey, if you are, it must mean you liked it. Or if you hate, or you hated it so much you had to watch to the end just to spite me. So either way, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. And uh, also make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and uh, watch one of these other videos up here. I'll see you on the next one.